stalk sleeves and seed heads blow gently in the cold winds that gush across these high-altitude plains. With the onset of winter, most grasses here will turn completely brown, especially when the first frosts cover the ground. The Golden Gate Highlands National Park is the only national grasslands park in the entire South Africa. Here in the park we can find over 60 species of grasses that now, even in winter, form spectacular ranges of colours, textures and shapes and sizes. What is noticeable is the fact that the west and the east slopes differ as well as the ravines and different grass types tend to dominate in these different areas. Plants and shrubs thrive here in the protected environment. The ravines form their own kind of microcosm. Also noticeable is an absence of large trees in the area, and this has to do with the terrain and climate. Of the trees that are found here, the Witzstinkert and the mountain cabbage trees are of the larger varieties. The cabbage or kippersol tree is one of my favorites, and I found this one with its characteristic shape. They're dotted around in certain areas and are often found sticking out at jaunty angles out of rocky ridges and mountain slopes. And life in the park is great for animals which are predominantly grazers here. But once again, it's the grass that's important in this area. Black Volubius cavorting in a herd. They're always playful, and I suppose they should be with plenty of grass and succulents. There was a gathering of Blessbok and Springbok also, and they seemed to be sharing a territory. I'm quite accustomed to seeing zebra in terrain such as the arid regions of Namibia where the zebra have to travel vast distances for food and water. And after filming today and looking at the variety I find around me, I'm convinced that as we look at these grasses, we need to eliminate the manicured varieties which they have back home. Not only does it save time and labor, but importantly water, especially in South Africa, which is described as water-deprived.